Assalamu alaikum. I'm Imam Keelan Farouk and I am delighted that Imam Wazi Ali asked me to host this video on behalf of Masjid Warthuddin Muhammad in Houston, Texas. Masjid Warthuddin Muhammad, formerly known as the Houston Masjid of Al Islam, is the first and oldest mosque established in Houston, Texas in the barbershop of Charlie Boyd in the early 1950s. In later years, a property purchased with the general donations of Jabir Muhammad and the late great boxer of all time, Muhammad Ali, became the Houston Masjid of Al Islam. Under the leadership and teachings of Imam Warthuddin Muhammad, the Houston community has serviced thousands of Muslims and those of other faiths through their various Islamic ministries that range from health and human services to safe community building and children's programs focused on teaching the religion of Al-Islam and the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. In efforts to broaden our reach, we are now embarking on this great community project. And I'm excited to announce the building of the Ibrahim Kamaladeen Community Center after one of our late great imams and community leaders. This center will be located in Southeast Houston on two acres of property already purchased by our community. There's so much more I want to say myself on how important it is that we make this project a success. But I'm going to allow the great community members who have been working diligently for years to make this project come to life, explain what beautiful things this project has to offer and why it's so important that we as Muslims in this community of America see this project come to life, if Allah's will. With no further ado, I introduce to you the community of Masjid Warthuddin Muhammad. One of the most important things that we can do as human beings is service our fellow human beings. Often in neighborhoods where resources are limited, people are looking for hope. They're looking for something to help enrich their lives. They're looking for something to give them a chance. Ibrahim Kamaluddin Community Center will be a place where people can find hope. They can find information and resources to help them better their lives, to make better futures, futures for themselves. Muslims across the country understand the need for addressing community life, addressing the uh, life of the whole community, and having a space or having a place for expression for our Muslim youth. Uh, the community center also serves as a place for dawah where non-Muslims get the opportunity to engage and interact with the Muslim community, get an understanding, a better understanding of who we are. Currently we have a weekend school um, and several other annual youth activities that we perform out of the Master Rathuddin Muhammad facility. But inshallah, in the new facility, we'll be um, extending those programs, not just for weekend school, but our, our hope, inshallah, is to convert our weekend school into a full-time Islamic school. Uh, we've already sort of begun the planning phases of that full-time weekend school, full-time Islamic school. Um, but we would love to expand that to grade school as well as middle school and high school ages. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hanif Khalil, co-founder of Camp Khalil. And I'm Bayina Khalil, co-founder of Camp Khalil. We're here on behalf of the Ibrahim Kamaladi Community Center. We believe in doing for self. Since 2004, we have established youth programming for youth ages 12 to 17. Our mission is to establish global citizens in the areas of life skills and leadership. Our focus is on business, culture, education, and government. Each year, youth travel from all across the nation to be in an environment where they are away from social media. They're away from electronics. They're away from technology. And for those five days, they get to get in touch with their human nature, with their uh, internal self, and they get to bond with other young adults from all across the country. This is very important. Community life is the cornerstone of society. In addition to the community life that we have established at Camp Khalil, we, we plan to continue these efforts in the Ibrahim Kamaladi Community Center. We believe in doing for self, and we believe in establishing something of our own that our children can go to and express their own true identity. It is a struggle every day where young people are fighting to express themselves, to find their true identity. The vehicle in which they'll be able to do that is the Ibrahim Kamaladeen Community Center. Here at Masjid Wadaladeen Muhammad, we're right in the middle of a neighborhood that, 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 that is a lower socioeconomic status who needs these services. Not only is it 
important, it's essential to the success of Ibrahim Kamal Dean Community Center and all the programs that it will be offering that we get support, participation, and volunteers from all Muslim communities. This is not just a Masjid W.D. Muhammad initiative. This is a, 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 this is a Muslim initiative that, that we invite all Muslims from around the city to use this facility and to use this venue to serve those who need help the most. There are many needs that we see in the community. Some of those needs, we need a program for, for our youth. You know, we, have, we need programs for cultural expression. Uh, we need uh, 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 somewhere that we can come in and actually study the religion, you see. And sometimes a master in itself cannot meet all of these accommodations, you know. We, we need a facility that uh, we, can, we can offer to other organizations in the community to come in and also utilize our facilities to do the necessary things that they want to do to advance their, their cause and their purpose in the community, which coincides with our cause and purpose in the community. The sisters are very excited because it gives us an opportunity to um, expand some of the programs that we have currently, which is the Sisters Holico. Uh, we have on every uh, twice a month uh, Saturday mornings, but we would like to expand that so that we can uh, build up our Islamic scholastic um, knowledge base here amongst the sisters. But since the sisters are um, the backbone, or we're, we're the first teachers of our children, we would like to ensure that our sisters here that attend Master Wafi D. Muhammad have um, scholastic opportunities to increase their Quranic knowledge and pass that those learnings on to their children. As a project manager of the building of Master Wafi D. Muhammad after the uh, Hurricane Ike destroyed uh, the original Master, Houston Master of Islam, I learned through watching that experience of us coming together as a community, us uh, pulling all our efforts, us so obtaining fundraiser after fundraiser, for pulling our pennies together so that we can help rebuild the master, that anything was possible as long as we believed in Allah and what Ta'ala and we worked hard for it. So watching that process, watching us uh, leverage our, our strengths and our community relationships to build the beautiful Houston master, uh, to build a beautiful master of in Muhammad where it is now. Uh, built on West African architecture, I knew that when we had a need, if we worked hard and we believed in a lot, that we could achieve it. Imam Ibrahim Kamaluddin, one of the reasons why we are honoring him with this building project of the Imam Ibrahim Kamaluddin Community Center, because it is needed for us to honor those pioneers who have committed their lives and their energy for the upliftment of Islam in America as well as for the eradication of those problems that kept people from knowing God in this true sense. The primary success of this project is how it will touch the lives and enhance the lives and uplift the lives of individuals who come to it seeking something to make their lives better, seeking something to improve their lives. And sometimes all people need is a good word. Sometimes all people need is just a little bit of encouragement to be told that they can do it. And that's the spirit of Ibrahim Kamal Dean Community Center. And that was the spirit of Prophet Muhammad. Prayers and peace be upon him. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Whenever you came in his presence, you, you, you received information or he told you something to encourage you to be a better human being to help you access your home your own human resources to help you see and have a hope and a vision for your life in the future i hope you enjoyed meeting the community of imam warthu dean muhammad and listening to many of the initiatives that we plan to implement at the new Ibrahim Kamaladeen Community Center. Now I just want to ask for many of us to dig deep, deep like deep sea halal fishing in our pockets and find the kindness in your heart for Allah to bless us all and making this project come to fruition. Assalamu alaikum and thank all that came out tonight.